Hello everyone, uh, this is Vinay and you are watching Edu Smart. So today I am back with another interesting video on internship offer. So this internship will be helpful because this internship is being offered from IIT Madras. So it's gonna help a lot of students. By the way, I make these videos on free courses, certification, placement preparation, what not. If you are looking into any of this data, do not forget to hit the bell icon whenever you subscribe. Now let's get started. So this is all about IIT Madras internship offer. So IIT Madras has a special platform for internships and like uh, whatever they provide like fellowships or if they wanted to do any research, they have a special platform for that, uh, which we call RBCDSAI, which stands for Robert Boss Center for Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. So with this center, they uh, conduct a different kind of uh, like a research and uh, fellowships as well as internships, etc. for students, not just from Madras, uh, for students from across the country, they use this platform to conduct such uh, events. So as part of this, uh, they are inviting some applications for internships. Uh, by the way, these internships are for free. You need not pay for this. And coming to the stipend, you are going to get 40,000 rupees for this internship per month. So if you are doing an internship uh, per month, you are likely to get around 40,000 rupees. And coming to the duration, uh, this internship is about one year to two years. So this is about this internship. Uh, coming to how to apply for this, uh, you can visit the official website. I'll show you how to apply as well. Uh, when you're applying for that, uh, basically uh, they will be inviting applications till 20th of every month. Let us say if this is June, till 20th June you can apply. So the next week they will be uh, like they will be uh, screening the applications and they will be selecting some students. If uh, 20th June has been over, you can use the next month, which is July. Until July 20, you can again apply for this internship. So that is how you are going to apply for this internship. That is what about uh, deadline for the internship. Uh, coming to how to apply, what are the documents required? Uh, you need to submit them a proposal of about 300 to 500 words stating about the research area. Uh, what about the internship are? I'll tell you what are the concepts of internships. Uh, there will be internships based on artificial intelligence, MATLAB, etc., financial analytics, etc. So there are students who got selected with the, with the machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence, natural language processing, uh, systems biology, healthcare, smart cities and transportation, financial analytics, reinforcement learning and bandits. System architectures for data science, uh, artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence on the edge. So these are some research areas where you are going to work on this internship. So you need to provide some a proposal of about 300 to 500 words, like a paragraph on these topics. So whatever the interested topic you are, you can submit a proposal on this. So uh, coming to the languages required for this internship, are you might be good at either Python, R or MATLAB. So these are the required programming prerequisites for this internship. Uh, when you submit this proposal of 500 words, along with this, you also need to list of research areas will you have also to be submitted. So whatever the research areas you are interested at. Let me say either if you are interested in national language processing, deep learning or machine learning or smart cities, transportation, etc. You need to list that research areas where you are really interested at. Uh, with that, along with that, you also need to send a link of your online CV like uh, if you have your Google on your drive, like let's just say if you have your CV on drive, you need to provide a link of your drive of your CV. Okay, you also need to share that. Uh, students can also share if they have taken any online courses such as uh, NPTEL or Coursera and so on. So we have already provided a bunch of courses on uh, Coursera, Udemy and some other uh, like IIT Bombay, 4C, etc. So th there are a lot of courses available, right? Even IBM professional certifications, etc. I have already provided this. You can use any of the certifications that you have got from that in this. Okay, you can share that certifications. That means you, you need to provide the details of that. That is enough. You need not provide the certificate itself, but you need to and uh, include those details of your courses. Okay, so that is what you are required to do in this when you apply. Those who are interested to apply for this internship are advised to go to the official website. So let us see the official website 
ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പ്രസ് റിലീസ് ബൈ ദ ഐ ഐ ടി ബോംബെ ഇൻ ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സോറി ഐ ഐ ടി മാഡ്രസ് ആസ് ഐ ഹാവ് മെയ്ഡ് വീഡിയോ ഐ ഐ ടി ബോംബെ ഐ ആം ടെലിംഗ് യു ബോംബെ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഐ ഐ ടി മാഡ്രസ് ഓക്കെ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് ആർ യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു വർക്ക് ഇൻ എ ഹയർ the disciplinary environment with some of the leading faculty in data science and artificial intelligence access to state of art cpu or gpu high performance computing infrastructure so you have a very good infrastructure uh, you need not worry at the performance as well the fellowship is about 40000 to 60000 per month fully funded trip to national conference every year you are also going to get a funded trip to the national conference so that's great right Uh, coming to the eligibility those who have just completed their bachelor's degree or who have completed the bachelor's degree within just the last 2 years that means the previous 2 years students can apply for this uh, must have demonstrated academic excellence throughout their undergraduate program so you also need to uh, excel at your undergraduate academic so when you have completed your bachelor's degree you should have a good gpa let us say 8 gpa something like that so they will be selecting the students who have good academic excellence so this is where your grading really works and helps you a lot some students think that grading may not help you right but don't think like that your grading will definitely help you in one way or the other uh, coming to the application as i said 20th of every month is the deadline for this application you would be shortlisted after the you know, for the next 10 days shortlisting will be taken uh, okay after that you need to provide these along with i have already told you right a link to your cv you can use your google drive one drive dropbox etc and you need to provide your research proposal and a list of research areas and relevant online courses and a short research proposal that we have already talked about so this is what there uh, you also need to mention them what you are really interested in as i already covered this in the previous post itself so this is about this iit madras Uh, if you wanted to apply you can see this qr code uh, you can scan this qr code i'll provide the link to this press relief pdf as well as this application details you can check this or else you can also see the uh, address complete address of this center for research and fellowships etc so do follow this for more such updates you will get one or the other very useful if you are not uh, find it helpful because uh, it is about the worst thing of this is it is about 1 to 2 years right it's really a great duration mostly people don't uh, like this because it's more long but don't think that way this is from iit madras you are going to get a such a great stipend which is uh, more great than a, in a salary from software companies right so this is can going to help you really with the great research area if i have completed my degree i would have really applied for this so that is all about this video i'll be back with another interesting video very soon till then keep smiling